I don't know if you guys remember this thing. I'm just starting to rip it apart. Had a few comments on it. It came out of that one uh, DVD player. I'm thinking it was a karaoke machine also. I'd like to see the machine that wraps this up. Because it ain't a human that does it. I know that for a fact. I think I've seen the machine. But... I would like to see it. Got a little weight to it, think maybe five pounds. I'm not sure. But it is wrapped pretty darn good. <laughs> I didn't want it coming apart. never had one of these before so I'm not 100% sure I was told maybe it's just a big hunk of ferrite with a little a little bit of copper wrapped around it we'll find out and I don't know if I need to uh, just stick them in my motor bucket, right? I'm not bother with them. Ah, you know me, I'll bother with it anyways. Not starting on a rubble. What do we do? Just smash it? There's a lot more plastic wrapped up in there. Several layers. I'm going to turn you over here. That's my smashing apparatus so I don't wreck my vice. I'm going to do an Ian Matthews. Get a bigger hammer. Okay, maybe it's not solid. That ain't gonna work either. All I did was make it kind of oval. And I used a bigger hammer. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna unwind it. Oh well. You want me to come back to you when it's done? I'm gonna clean some of this up first before it gets all on the floor. I'm going to have to bend over. I don't like bending over much. Well, I don't mind myself, but my back doesn't like it. One strand at a time. <laughs> Well, it wouldn't, it wouldn't smash with a hammer. Maybe cut it with a sawzall. I don't even know what's in here. Because if it was ferrite, it would have broke. Right? So. Well, I thought I had two strands going. I guess not. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with that. Alrighty, I'm getting down to the nitty gritty here, I think. I don't think there's anything else underneath that. Uh, 20 minutes later. This ain't worth it. <laughs> I'm already blooding. I got whipped by it. 
Unless there's an easier way, it go me. Put in the vise to hold it so I don't have to. Use both hands on it, you know. I think they varnish every layer too after they put it on. Even got an inspection tag buried underneath here. So no, I understand, but I had to find out for myself. And it doesn't mean they're all the same, but I'm thinking they are. I ain't gonna do this one again. Motor bucket is where to go. Go for copper motor, right? CDM copper bearing motor, whatever you want to call it. Some heavier plastic there. Oh, it broke loose or something. But we are nearing the end. Yes, it's that warm in my garage. I took my jacket off. Well, I had the sleeves rolled up anyways. But it is 72 here at my workbench. Which is 22C. 20 is 68. 21, 70, 22C. There you go. For all you metric people. Yeah, I know I'm probably the only Canadian who isn't metric. It's not because I don't want to, I don't like it. You do what you do, I do what I want to do. Just like French. Public school is compulsory. Learn French, because we're bilingual. French and English in Canada. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but I was not interested. And if I'm not interested, I ain't gonna do it. Right? Pretty soon that's gonna have to change because there's more uh, immigrants from Africa, Indonesia, Pakistan, wherever. They call them East Indians. And they have their own language too. They don't speak French. And I think they're out, out numbering the French in this country, so. Surprising native indigenous is not a language. They were here first. You know? So how did that get bypassed? trying to go political on you. I'll just say turn around spare play, right? And then other immigrants were Dutch. They're all over North America. How come that language wasn't poof, pushed? Pushed. Pushed. You know? My parents, my adopted parents, were Netherlands and Friesland, so that's all Dutch. Then you got my wife's stepfather, which would be my stepfather-in-law. He was Pennsylvania Dutch, so he used to bug me. Oh, what happened? I'm losing strands. So, 
That's why I don't understand. And then I do believe in the U.S. It is bilingual. It is English and Spanish. You want to keep watching me do this? Maybe you're not even watching. I don't know. Yeah, it is there. It's a long video. I'll let you know when I'm done. Well, what's the chances there's more under here? Slim to none, right? Well, that took a half an hour. That's all it is, see? Wow. It's layered. Ooh, smells like glue. Yeah, it's just steel. Okay. That was all the weight of it. Well, this is it. Huh. Nothing what you would hope, right? So a half an hour's worth of work. Or maybe five bucks worth of copper. <laughs> so ten bucks an hour. Woo! If you go that route. But anyways, now we know. Alright, okay, it's going on to lunchtime, so I gotta throw some wood in this thing. Yeah, I probably really don't have to, but. more garbage off that little motor than anything else. You know? Open the dampener. A little kneeling pad. Those are items I'm going to do this afternoon. Get some firewood. Yeah, I shouldn't use these. I used them the other day and I burnt the the material off my glove. Not 100% smart. Right? I have the gloves, they're right here. I've had them for years and they still look new, other than dusty. See, they protect their welder's gloves. They work for the heat. Oh, what do we got here? Hello. Got a bee. We're gonna let them outside. Yep. Yeah. It's our green yellow jacket. There you go. Somehow he hibernated in here. Instead of killing them, it's not freezing outside, so he can go out. Hear that? That's dry wood. If it just makes a thud, it ain't dry. See? Hear that? Sounds like building blocks. There's a lot of people out there that run wood stoves and I don't know, maybe you shouldn't be. You really don't have to add much to you. Here, open the
just like that. Then these levers on the side, it's right here where the air comes from under and comes right here so it blows at the glass, both sides, both independent. You run one wide open and one tightly closed. See, originally I was going to scrap this thing, and everything on here is brass, because I've checked it. <laughs> Actually, I've had that off, I think, one of these off. But the, this is brass, this is not just steel. The bed's brass, brassy, brassy pieces. But I thought I'd check it out first, once in the garage, right? See how well it works. Well, as you can see, I didn't scrap it out. I've had it for a couple of years now. Got a little variable speed motor on the side. That's high. You can dial it right down. Now leave it at about almost full blast. The hot air comes out of there. It blows it across, but it goes like this. You need a ceiling fan to blow it down a bit, but hey, it works. Got no complaints. I like it. And I like the glass because then I can keep an eye on it. But anyways, like, subscribe, and share or not. I hope you didn't find that video too boring. But anyways, now we know. We ain't going to do those anymore. Birds are in the bird feeder way over there.